This is Podman26 reviewing Gears of War for the Xbox 360. Well, I'll be playing a little bit of Act 4, probably Scene 1, Campus Grinder, whatever, I don't remember what it's called. Um, this game, let me just start off by saying, is a very good game. If any fan of shooters should definitely pick up this game. Um, start off with the gameplay. Well, it's simple, it's a tactical shooter. You take cover, you pop out, you aim, you shoot. Like that. For example, you take out guys, you know. Controls are simple. Le uh, left trigger to aim, right trigger to fire. Um, right bumper reloads. A button takes cover and does other stuff. That's actually a complaint that some people have. The A button does too much stuff. And a lot of times instead of rolling where you need to roll or else you're going to die, you take cover and then you die. Oh, I'm playing this on hardcore by the way. On um, the story, it's not the greatest story. They didn't really explain that much. And it really just starts out by you having to rescue Alpha Squad, get the Resonator, to map out the Locust Tunnels, and the Locusts are these aliens, in order to drop a light mass bomb into their tunnels to kill them all. Um, they never explain like where the Locusts come from, why this war is being fought, or any other major things. Like a lot, It's a lot of interesting stuff. I mean, true, you can find a lot of details on the internet and on the I think the limited edition had a booklet explaining some of it I'm not sure but um yeah and there's the story in the game I mean that's what I'm reading here it's not that good but it's so fun it's, it has its funny moments the characters you actually do care about and all right the graphics I don't know if you can see it that well but they are superb they were some of the best graphics I've ever seen on the Xbox 360 and true this game does glitch a lot I, I've seen a lot of glitches like the magazine of my hammer burst well actually it was my friends was spinning around over and over I even saw a car flying around like a car flying around like I, I, I just saw that a few minutes ago, it was crazy. Um, so, the graphics are excellent. They truly strain the 360 to its full potential. It uses the Unreal Engine, so they're really good. The sound, I, I don't know if you can hear, it's pretty good. The music is superb, it's epic. May, you know, it's just every time you get into a fight, amazing music. You, you feel like you feel all intense and stuff. The guns, though, they, I may I'll admit they sound a little bland. Um, the Lancer, for example, just sounds like it's a. Uh, the guns are pretty bland. The explosions are very nice, though, and the enemies and the characters. They sound very good, good voice acting. For example, Marcus Phoenix, the guy I'm playing as, he's voiced by the guy who voiced Bender from Futurama. If you remember that great show. Um, the multiplayer gameplay, it's not as good as the single player. Usually it just uh, goes into a shotgun fest where everyone's trying to shotgun each other. I mean, with the recent patch they updated, the Lancer is stronger, so now you can actually hurt shotgunners and possibly kill them. But it's still mainly a shotgun fest and a power weapon fest, sniper fest. Like, you just get the strongest weapon you can and try to kill everyone from afar, or you grab the shotgun and try to kill everybody up close. It's just kind of disappointing, and as you see, I just beat this part somehow. I can barely concentrate while I'm talking to you. Um, also the multiplayer, it's, uh, yeah, it's not as good as I thought it would be. It's, a lot of people like to glitch on the game. Um, yeah. Uh. 
Hey, yeah, watch this cutscene. So small. First drop zone aborted. We are at East Barricade. I repeat, East Barricade. Over. Then that's our first stop. What's the situation on the ground? You have two options, Delta. You can take the street or move through those buildings ahead of you. Now I'm gonna take the street because I think it's easier. Well, yeah. So In my opinion, the street is a lot easier yeah, to with deal with. Dust, the buildings have wretches, which is just annoying as we'll heck. They're these small creatures that just jump you and you get absolutely raped. Um, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. Hope you enjoyed that little bit of gameplay. Oh, and oh, I forgot to add something. Um, this game is very focused about co-op. You can host games on co-op, join games on co-op, invite friends. It's really fun to do, and playing a campaign over is fun. It has a lot of replay value. Um, playing on harder difficulties, collecting cog tags, which are like dog tags. Um, and just playing it for fun. It's a lot of replay value. And I just died. Alright, well, I think that's everything. If I forget something, I might add it in the description. Well, this is Podman26, signing off with the review of Gears of War.